Ladies and gents, let's talk about the TikTok influencer who loves drinking his pee, not poo, pee. By the way, criticism on my last video when I reacted to Moist Critical and Take Leads. When I do reacting videos, to be honest, it's kind of rare, but I do it. And the two comments were pretty much on the same page. Hey man, can you stop pausing? Stop talking, man. Let's just play the video so we can watch. You keep pausing the video, man. And I said, you know what? You're right. Habits don't change overnight, man. It, it takes time. And uh, and also ADHD. It's real. But I'm, I'm self-reminding myself, okay? Next time when I play a video, I'll try to play all the way, then maybe talk about it. But at the same time, also remember this. A lot of the bad dudes, they are, what do you call it? Filing copyright strikes, man. Because of, oh my God, this guy didn't say anything. He just reacted, played my whole video without saying anything. So I kind of avoid that as well. But at the same time, it's just my habit, literally. Not that I'm intentionally doing it, it's just my habit. So I will try to remind myself when I play some videos, I'll try to let you, you know, give you enough time to watch it. Then I will probably talk about it and give you my two cents. And I've decided to just, instead of playing the original video, I thought, why not talk about it? You know, play Mo Moist Criticals. There are a lot of other people who actually reacted to this video. And Moist is one of the very few ones I like to watch just because of his dry humor. And yeah, he includes everything, man. And also his comments are brutal. This guy has, gets a lot of comments, which are pretty fun to read. You can learn quite a few things from it, okay? And yes, ironically, this is real. Man drinks his own aged urine and does pee animals for deeper cleans? Published Jan 8, 2024, earlier this year. And this is not the same guy. Or hold on, is it the same guy? Maybe this is what he was before and after drinking so much pee, he became this huge dude. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's actually play this, okay? So, I'm also have the subtitles. Oof, gnarly. Smells like ammonia. I don't always drink this, but the research that I've shown is it's good for parasites, it's good for your gut microbiome. It's gnarly, so it's going to have that element of power. I don't always drink this, but when I do, I end up projectile vomiting in my toilet, and that's proof to me that it's detoxing my body and deparasiting me, obviously. The research I've read, none of which I cite, and none of which actually exists with any real merit to it, all says that drinking piss is two thumbs way up. So I do it. Daily. <laughs> I can't help but giggle at that belief that if something is so turbo shitty, it must actually be good for you. No pun intended. Hey, I have to pause this, man. Now the point is, I just want to play his part. If I just literally played all of Moist video, like, to be to, till the end, it doesn't add up. Like, yeah, Moist is a nice guy, man. He's not going to file a copyright strike on my video. I hope so. But you get the point, right? But again, feedback's welcome. Let me know if you want me to do this a little better in the upcoming feature. Okay. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Tur turbo shitty. It must be. Let's go forward, man. Ancient therapy. I will never understand why people live longer now. G in the sun boosts my testosterone. I just feel it in my muscles. It really gives me a lot of clarity and energy, but I have it open and we're talking about it. So of course we can drink a little bit and see what happens. Mm. The first thing that we get is it's very gnarly smelling. However, once it goes on your skin and you get some sunlight on it, I like to ride my bike. Ah, uh, a great swig indeed. The exquisite flavor of pee. Mmm, <laughs> scrumptious piss. Nonsense gobbledygook. I can put it on my body, either lay out here at the pool or put it on my body and go out for a ride in my bike, even when it's 110, 115 degrees out here. I mean, I know how powerful this is for me. It's not the greatest tasting delicacy on the planet, but it's kind of like eating oysters or uni, sea urchin. I know it's good for me. It's loaded with minerals. It's not good for you. Like that's something that's reserved for a life or death situation where you need piss to survive. This isn't something that you just wake up and do as part of your daily morning routine. That is so outrageous. <laughs> It's ridiculous what people would do, man. He literally said he not only drinks, he likes to put it on his body. It must taste like some kind of IPA, man. Beer, most likely. I mean, it looks like beer, but you, man. Oh. <sighs> Ancient culture. And yeah, there are people who would take cow dung, do stu stupid stuff, eat poo. I'm sure there are people who eat poo as well. Pretty much similar reasoning. Wow. Wow. 
All right, let's play. Like taking the stink with him. Like, it's crazy how awful that must be. Cell salts, amino acids, stem cells, antigens, antibodies. But what the way I like to use it ultimately is topically. So you put a little bit in your hand there. And then you oh just rub it on God. your skin. And so once it's out in the sun for a little while, <laughs> it mixes with your own pheromones and it smells like perfume. I highly fucking doubt that. I imagine you just smell like pi Ooh. You imagine like putting it in the, the sun actually dries it on your face and the smell, the dry smell of urine, man. Is this real? Like, because, well, let's actually finish it off. Yeah. Oh my God. Piss. Like the logic there makes no sense. He even opens that jar and says that it smells gnarly. So how would you take something that smells gnarly, put it on your body, and then all of a sudden it magically turns into something that's like perfume? That's the whimsy of urine therapy, I suppose. The magical mystique of it. He throws out a lot of buzzwords about the buzzword. benefits that urine has with the antigens and the stem cells and all of that. And I decided to look a little musky, if you will. And so this is what gives me excellent color. And I don't always practice this, but when I do- it Yeah, does it help grow body hair or something? Like those who can grow a beard, can you like put urine and just like rub on your face and something like that? I don't know, this guy looks like legit, man. Like out of so many things that has antigen, antibiotics, whatever stuff, this is what you find? Oh yeah, it's free. Due to inflation, this is the best thing to do now, right? I mean, it's cost of living, everything is high, so have some urine to stay healthy, to fight all the micro. What? Yo, I'm serious. Is this scientifically proven? Like backed by this? Because I want to read that article after this. Okay, we are almost done. And he literally said, "This is not the greatest thing ever." But you know what? It smells like perfume. Wait, you just said it smells gnarly, and then you again you're saying. You're contradicting yourself, man. And there's like 221 people who likes this video. I mean, these 221 people are pee drinkers. Wow. I actually wanted to see the comments on that TikTok. Oh my God, like this is insane. This guy lives in a very decent compound and he's drinking pee. Makes me feel great. So I took some time to create some jars earlier he's last year. See me getting it on his legs. I like to get it in where my lymph nodes are. So in the creases of my elbows, behind my knees, on my ankles, where the sun hits me the most, my shoulders. Now, of course, he's not the only enthusiast of PP. There is an entire community of urine therapy cultists that swear by it. Like Holy they moly. And I don't doubt that. We've clearly seen this, right? I believe there's a cult. It's a cult. It has to be a cult, man. There's no other way. Oh my God, man. This is crazy. All right, let's finish it off. Why does he just take the whole thing and bathe? Instead of like rubbing around like, oh my God. He's literally putting everywhere, everywhere. So why don't you just bathe, man? Just, just go to the bathroom, take a bucket, pee in the bucket, wash it. Pee again, wash it. What is this, man? They love this. Whoa. Like they really think they're becoming superhumans, beating every possible ailment ever. It is sunscreen. I know people that wash their hair with it. They have gotten rid of some premature balding. It's used for all sorts of stuff. Did he say premature balding? Yo. Maybe I could use some pee? I don't know. Ew, man. Ew. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, I can't even imagine. It's like one of those culting, you know, like taboo, the cult that ends up on some X video or something, literally, like pee drinker, pool drinker. This is extreme, man, extreme. I don't make any claims, I just love it. And I've been using it for 20 years. 20 and I love years. the way it makes my skin look and my muscles feel. How in the fuck would urine on your scalp prevent premature bald? <laughs> if it and he literally said he's not making any claims. Hey pre-balding, but I'm not making any claims. I've been using it for the past 20 years. Anything that would scare the follicles into submission even quicker. The, the follicles would kill themselves if they started getting drowned in piss. Like, that's it's such a ridiculous thing to say. And then he goes on to say that he's not making claims, even though this is exactly what you're doing. These are claims you're 
You've got a fetish. For tight muscles, pain. Not making any claims whatsoever. I just experienced this. And it feels amazing in the sun. You pretty much get the idea. <sighs> All right. Let's actually read the comments, but before that, I want us to read this real quick, okay? Obviously not the same guy, but what is this thing, man? A man who drinks his own wee pee has revealed his latest health fad, and it's not for the weak stomach. Harry, 36 years old, from Hampshire, previously made headlines after he claimed drinking aged urine. Which is what the other guy did. Cured his depression and worked as an anti-aging product on his skin. Bruh. Now the holistic healer has exp holistic healer has experimented further with his own pee, creating urine enemas, which he inserts into the. <sighs> inserts into the rectum for a deep cleans. You're taking it from this and you're putting it on your back, Bruh. Oh my God, man. Oof. Vegan Harry. Vegan insists the results are powerful and claims the homemade colonies help give him renewed energy every time i do it it majorly heals the gut that guy's like built and this guy's a little skinny like what is the deal man i mean but both of them have a lot of hair that's a common thing i'm noticing hmm? wow <laughs> he believes it has a number of health benefits although science says otherwise science okay yeah who believes in science anymore Harry leaves his urine to age for a month before filling a 30 to 50 ml syringe, which he purchased from Amazon. Bruh, Amazon. He takes a syringe and then he does, he puts up in the rectum. The age urine is extremely alkaline and this alkalinity flushes the colon of impurities. The benefits of it alkalizes your gut. Both of them said the same thing about gut. Clears out deep seated suck, pretty much deep seated suck feces. Lining the cologne walls. Bruh, but there are other supplements we could use instead of this. Ew, man. The, both of them have the same jar, man. Seriously, I kid you not. Look at this. Despite Harry claim, GP Dr. Ross Perry, medical director of cosmetics clinics, disputed the alleged positives, <laughs> saying any benefits are most likely placebo or psychological, as age urine has no basis for any nutrient benefits as it's a waste product. It's a waste product. Maybe it could be used as a fertilizer or something, but not on a freaking human being. Yo, he's getting younger. The 36-year-old has not started doing urine enemas. However, Dr. Perry warns, said that using urine in an enema could actually do more harm than good and irritate the bowel. Man, what people come up with, brah. I'm not gonna even check on the comments on this one. No way. Alongside his enema, Harry has been drinking 200 milliliter of his own pee every day since 2016? Yo, 8 years he's been drinking his own pee. The other guy was drinking for 20 years. He previously commented, it was beyond my wildest imagination how powerful it was when I drank it. Yo, and he's, he can do yoga and all these weird crazy moves, man. Is it because of pee? Whoa. Whoa, you disgusting man. A number of doctors have shared their disapproval too. Pretty much everybody says, no, 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 no. In an investigation following a rise in the practice. It's a rise in the practice. That means a lot of people actually doing this. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Thornburg, the whole point of urinating is for the kidneys to filter the blood and it gets rid of any excess fluids and salts as well as minerals. Yeah, it's a toxic waste that's coming out of the body. And you're trying to put that toxic on your face and everywhere else. Man, that's a psychological stuff, man. I just can't comment on this. This is the internet never ceases to ama like uh, amaze me. And on top of that, this is not amazing. This is disgusting. Ladies and gents, before I end, I want to read some of the comments here. Piss so nutritionally valuable that your body is specifically designed to get rid of it. Yeah, I mean it's so valuable that your body is actually designed. God made us in such a way that yeah, take your poo out of your body, not in your body. Dude's breath is <laughs> breath is lethal. <laughs> Bruh, do they have any girlfriends? Do they like make out or something? I mean, how would he kiss his girlfriend? Ooh. <sighs> this urine has a nice brown tint to it. It's an incredible statement. <laughs> this guy looks like he has a decent place. Imagine your boss is the guy leathering his piss on himself. His kidneys will shut down soon. Darwin has to be claimed. They are going through the 1800s obsession and miracle cures again. As a schizophrenic, if I went 31 days, a literal whole month without my psych meds, 
I feel like it I would uh, still be of more sound mind than this individual. <laughs> oh my god. But there rises why not poop? This Samuel is the most absurdly hilarious. It's not even that he's drinking pee, he's letting it ferment. Yeah, aging it for several year months. Pot twist, he's the ultimate troll that got 1,000 people to drink it. He's peacefully drank apple juice. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. Who knows, man? I mean, this, this thing looks like apple juice. Who knows? I mean, if you look at it. But I don't know. The top part. I didn't see him live. I don't know. I'm just saying. Wow, wow, wow. Anyways, ladies and gents, that's all I have for you. Would you ever be so desperate to get your health back if the only option, the solution was drinking your own pee? No, I'm just asking a real legitimate question. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.